Thank you, Kentucky! I am proud of this victory, and I am proud to be your nominee for governor. Tonight, we not only won this primary, we did something we're going to do in November. We got more raw votes than Matt Bevan. Isn't Jacqueline Coleman an incredible force? I couldn't ask for a better running mate than a powerhouse teacher, assistant principal, and basketball coach. And isn't it time for the first active educator to serve as lieutenant governor since Martha Lane Collins? I am so appreciative of each and every one of you that voted for this ticket. And Jacqueline and I are going to be in each and every community across this state working to earn the support of every single Kentuckian as we move forward. I've received phone calls from both Rocky and Adam, and I know this was a tough campaign, but I want to thank them for each of their pledges to support this campaign wholeheartedly. Now there is going to be a lot of punditry in the next few days, asking how we stack up in the general election, who's up and who's down. But tonight, I want to tell you how I see this election. It is not about what's going on in Washington, D.C. It's not about the nasty attacks that Matt Bevan has already launched starting tonight. And it's not about right versus left. Folks, it's about right versus wrong. It is wrong when Matt Bevan tries to strip health care from thousands of our families. It is wrong when he tries to slash our workers' pensions. It is wrong when he tries to tear down public education. And it is wrong when he fails to create good jobs in eastern and western Kentucky because every part of our state deserves to succeed. And if you don't believe me, just look at the fact that our governor just barely got 50% of his vote tonight. I think it can be as simple as a phrase, a phrase I've been thinking every single day since I've been serving in Frankfurt. We were raised better than this. We were raised better with the bullying we're seeing in Frankfurt. We were raised better than the name calling we're seeing in Frankfurt. And when we win on November 5th, we're going to start acting better than what we've seen too. I know we were raised better than this, because I was raised right here in Kentucky. And I was raised to believe that each of us has an obligation to give back, and that I've always been driven by faith and family. And I got to thank two very special people for that, my mom, Jane, and my dad, Steve Bashir. And tonight, um, my older brother drove about 10 hours from Charlottesville, Virginia, just to be here. Thanks for being here, Jeff. When I'm asked about my parents, the nicest thing I can say is that they taught me to be a good parent. And the lessons they taught are exactly what I try to pass along to our two children. Folks, I'll be a governor just like I've been an attorney general. 
that fights for... <laughs> I will be a governor that fights for the lost, the lonely, and the left behind. A governor for all of Kentuckians, rich, poor, and everyone in the middle. Democrats, Republicans, and independents, Eastern, Central, and Western Kentucky, I will do right by all of our neighbors. And here's what that means to me. It means protecting health care for all of our families. And folks, I not only have a plan, I have the fight to do so. It is simply wrong for an insurance company to kick someone off their coverage for a pre-existing condition. It is wrong. It's wrong for them to discriminate against women and charge them more for the same coverage than men. And it is wrong for them to set lifetime caps to where a child with a uh, disease like type 1 diabetes or Crohn's runs out of money, runs out of luck, and runs out of coverage before they reach adulthood. I'm going to be a governor that prevents that from happening to any Kentucky family. And you see my family standing right here. Three out of four of us have a pre-existing condition. This is real to me, and I know it's real to you. Doing right means looking out for our neighbors by finally tackling this opioid epidemic. I've lived this just like you have. About two years ago, I pulled an overdosing man from a car in downtown Lexington so that eventually an EMT could administer Narcan. I watched the life drain from his face. The colors change, as those of you who have seen it. He died in front of us, didn't breathe for three minutes until Narcan brought him back. That stays with you. And I've sat with far too many moms and dads, and I've sat with too many children that have lost that loved one that is supposed to be with them through their life. It's about the worst thing that could happen to anyone, and I'll tell you, a lot of them put their faith in me, not just as attorney general, but in this campaign. I've received their calls and their texts since this campaign was called, and I'm going to repay their faith. We're going to do it, not just by continuing to take on these opioid companies in court, but here's my commitment to you. I will fight every moment, every day, for the inches that become the feet, that become the miles of progress, to where we can put this epidemic that arose in our lifetime behind us in our lifetime. That's a legacy we should leave to our children. And I'm going to fight every single day for the types of jobs that our people deserve. Instead of giving away huge giveaways to out-of-state CEOs, I'll build an economy that works for all of our workers and in all of our regions, where your wages finally go up faster than the power bill and the gas bill and the grocery bill. I'm going to be the guy that favors our workers and never that out-of-state CEO. That's the difference between me and Matt Bevan. And I'm going to work every single day to fully fund and strengthen our public schools. I believe so much in public education, I chose a teacher as my running mate. And I look forward to her voice leading us in so many areas of education because knowing exactly what goes on in the classroom is going to help us make better policy than you have ever seen. You know, Matt Bevin's going to try to make this election about anything other than his record because it is one of total failure. He is wrong on virtually every single issue, and he knows if he doesn't distract us that he will lose. He has bullied our teachers, our first responders, and our social workers. He's called them names, and he has shut them out of the Capitol that is their house. But we are not going to let him distract us. 
We are not going to let him pull us away from the issues that matter most to people. That's why I ran to be your attorney general. And it's why I focused so much these last three years on people who need our help the most, like their victims and their families. It's why after three and a half years, I can tell you that Kentucky is one of two states in the country with zero untested rape kits. And it's why we're working to end this culture of sexual assault that we see. And, and I've got to thank Megan Wright, who's up here tonight. Megan was lending, Megan was willing to, yeah. Come on up, Megan. Megan was willing to face her trauma again in a very public way to have people try to bully her on Twitter and other forms of social media because she is the change we need and she knows we're going to lift up her voice to make that change. Thank you, Megan. You know we fought just as hard for our seniors that every single day are scammed out of their life savings, life savings they are using to raise the next generation, and you know we have fought to protect your pensions. It's this fight. It's this fight that has made me love being your Attorney General, and it's exactly why I want to be your governor. And I don't just want to be your governor, I want to govern well. I'll be a governor who measures our progress not by any polls, not by any approval ratings, but by how we can make people's lives better, how we can invest in our people and in our schools, how we can create the types of jobs and careers here in Kentucky that my children and your children will stay for, how we can work together, regardless of political party, to restore honesty, decency, and transparency in this state government. And I promise you tonight that I'm going to be a governor for everyone and not just the people who voted for us. This is an amazing state filled with amazing people. We have so much promise, but what we need to do is to be brought together. It's what I see every day when a Republican teacher chases me across a parking lot and says, and says I've never voted for a Democrat in the past 10 years or so, but this governor has crossed the line and we trust you to restore decency. I'm gonna be a governor for everyone who's working a dead-end job, who feels like at the end of every month they pay more in bills than they bring in and they're worried about leaving their kids better off. I'm gonna be the type of governor that is finally going to get equal pay for equal work. If you can't tell, that's pretty important to me. <laughs> I have a daughter and I have a son, and they deserve to be paid for the same amount for the same work. It's only fair. <laughs> so these next five months and the next four years are about you, and I'm going to fight for you every day, every day. I want to conclude by thanking my family. My wife, Brittany, is the most incredible and understanding <laughs> partner I could ask for. And if you get just a tiny glimpse of her huge heart, she would make an amazing first lady.
And I want to thank my two kids, my son Will and my daughter Lila. I love you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> and Lila and Will, I'm not going to make as many baseball games. And I'm going to miss a few more horse shows. But I am so proud of the thoughtful, kind, and truly good people you are growing up to be. You make me proud every day. And finally, to everybody who chipped in, everybody who made phone calls, everyone who held a meet and greet, everyone who called a neighbor, everyone who fought for that last little vote, this victory tonight is yours. Congratulations. And to everybody else, the Office of Governor is not something anyone's entitled to. It's something that you have to earn. So the next five months, I'm going to be out there earning every single individual who voted a different way tonight. I'm going to earn your vote. <laughs> so let's get to work. Let's get out there. Let's beat Matt Bevin, and let's win this governor's race. Thank you all very much. Thank you.